Hey guys, Lord of Pontel here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today it's a Friday and I am doing a, this video is, is all about a beginner's guide to training day. So every Friday in Clash of Province, we have troop training day. So if we look on Clash of Province co competition, today's event, it's train units. The higher the level of unit, the more points you get. You also get points if you enhance units, um, but not quite as many points as if you train them, as you'll see. So for instance, so you, uh, enhancing a tier 8 unit is 125 points, but if you train a tier 8 point, you get 250 points. So it's double the amount of points for training. And you, this is, for me, the best day for trying to get uh, box rewards on the hourly challenges. Now, there's five minutes left of the current hour, and we are in... As you hopefully will know, each Clash of Province day, there is obviously 24 hours and the hourly challenges work on three cycles of eight hours. Now on training day, there's a really nice sequence of hours where you're going to get, but on the sixth hour is this current hourly challenge, which is training units combined with building power. And if you're a C25, you need 4.24 million to get the third rewards chest. So I'm in the last five minutes of this hour, and what you want to do is, for those of you that are very early in the game or you have and you haven't completed zone commemoration, this is an excellent opportunity for you to potentially get at least two middle boxes if you're right at the start of the game, and if you're like your progression is more perhaps C18, C19. Uh, and you're training T6 or T7 troops. So, yeah, see, maybe 18, 19, 20, 21, you guys are training T17 troops on, on 19 and above. You can hit the third rewards chest two in a row and use your 100% bonus ticket to uh, get the maximum amount of Clash of Province. So if you click into menu and go to your items, hopefully you will have a couple of these 100% Clash of Province scores and you want to activate this now you want it will cover for 30 minutes so you'll see that i'm doing this in the last four minutes of the hour now i have i'm in pom farm today i um, was very fortunate i unlocked t9 cavalry and pom form and pom farm on wednesday and i'm going to just train up some t9 troops quickly i'm actually going to try and go for mvp today but that's besides the uh, that's just a little side point now i've just trained um a bunch of T9 cavalry and that has got me 1.2 million points. Now I appreciate that if you're training lower tier units that's going to get you a lot less. So T7 uh, level 7 units are 140 points um, so what's that maybe 30% less so you probably would get around 750,000 points so you're potentially going to need to do six batches of training to get the third rewards chest so i only need to do uh, i can do four batches of training now if you're particularly short on reward uh, on resources as well you don't have to do obviously a full session of training you can just uh, rather than train the maximum amount of troops you can uh, drop it down to just the points that you require so we're going to need to do three lots of whole training on this. And um, you can see I've got four and a half thousand training speed ups on the five minutes. And I've got 4,790 one hour training speed ups. Basically, I've got so many because I never did any training. This is I did start this account as being a farm and then I've just developed it into being a C25 with T9. So try and use your different um, training speed ups evenly and you want to save them if you can, you want to, at a lower level, you want to save all your training speed ups for every Friday. So I've done three lots of training now, and that's given me 3.5 million, but I only need 700,000 more points. So when I go into my training, at the moment I'm training about 6,740. So I think I need to train about 4,500 troops. So we'll go with that. And that way you're not wasting any points that you're um, producing on the hourly challenge. Particularly, this is particularly important if, oh, I didn't quite do enough. Oh, look at that. Okay, literally 
just need to train probably about 10 troops. Um, yeah, the reason this is important is so you're not, you're, you're getting the return of investment in the resources that you're using and also um, so that you have those resources available for the next hour so you can hopefully achieve another third box um, because the following hour will be a bit more difficult. So surely that's done it. Yeah, that's done it. So on this hourly challenge, you're going to get only 3,000 gems. You'll get the hero XP rewards and then the food and resources and some gold. And you'll get training more training speed ups. So the good thing is if you're quite low on training speed ups, this hour gives you more training speed ups. And obviously, if you're completing the Clash of Province competition, as you go through um, in unlock each box, you get more training speed ups on the same day. So it keeps you, you can keep going. Now, I already, as you can see, I've, I'm up to 460 million points uh, on this account today um, as a, because I'm going to push for MVP later. Um, usually, I would have waited. So for anyone anyone who might be, say, C22 and above, and that's training T8s, and you're looking to push, and you've completed zone commemoration, and you are looking to push for ninth chess rewards, uh, what I would suggest is that you can, you want to try and save your 100% bonus tickets for the sixth and seventh hours where you've got the training hours. Um, so we've just had the sixth hour, uh, which, which combines with the buildings. And then in a few minutes time, uh, you'll see that we will have the second hour, which will be training troops with a research element. Now, I think Fridays are a really good opportunity for lower level players to gain a lot of resources um, either by getting as many second chests on the hourly challenge as you can and potentially you know hitting two or three um, hourly third chest rewards as well because training troops does not use a large amount of resources compared to uh, the other demands that are required of you on say a Tuesday and Wednesday with building and research day um, you can generate a reasonable amount of uh, troop training um, speed ups as well. Plus, you can always use, um, it does allow you to use the train now with the gems if you've got a few gems. If you're a lower level, do you want to be using your gems on this? Probably not, though. That's, um, that's one thing I would say. Oh, why am I training T8s? Um, Okay, that was a bit of a boo-boo. Should have been training my T9s. Um, the other thing I like about... So the other thing I like about Friday's training day is that... So on the 6th and 7th hours, you've got um, you've got these training hours. And so that means you have six hours in the day where you do have a very realistic chance of, um, even at the lower levels, getting six box rewards if you're awake for them. And for those of us that are at the higher levels, you know, if you're going to be awake for, let's say, 18 hours of the day, you've got a very good opportunity to hit third chest rewards on, on five or six of those hours again. Um, and you only have to use your 100% Clash of Province bonus um, three times if that's all you're focusing on. Now, there are other decent hours as well on Friday. So on hour one and hour eight, so in the, the flowing hours time, there are any speed up events. What that means is that you can use any type of speed up, whether it's um, research, building, training speed ups, or even just plain speed ups that you've bought um, in the shop or even just speeding up things um, while you're doing them. Um, you will get points for any speed ups that you use during those hours. And again, there are six of these hours so if you're um, in a reign of chaos and you've got um, a coalition base camp upgrading, you could save your speed ups for that hour of the day so that it gives you a chance to get to the second rewards test or perhaps even the third rewards test. If you are um, gambling with materials and you're using speed ups on that, you should wait until those hours. If you're actually wanting to um, get your materials and just speed them up you click on the material, 
and use the speed up to speed speed up the crafting of your material. Um, you know, if you're looking to as one of the ways to speed up your uh, generation of materials so that you can craft your gold gear, etc., then save it, save it, and do it on those hours on these any speed up hours. So, just to um, reaffirm, those on the first hour and the eighth hour of the eighth hour sequence, you will get this any speed up hour. Outside of those hours as well, the other four hours in the eight hour blocks. So you've got these two hours for any speed ups. You've got two hours for training troops. The other four hours all include elements where you get points for using training speed ups. So there's a mixture of um, some of the hours are just purely training speed ups. That's all. That's the only thing you get points for. Some mix it with building and research. So there are lots of there is effectively opportunities to get um, second chest rewards for those of you that are even way way down like C sixteen seventeens eighteens on a Friday even if you're logging in you have an opportunity to um, if you do it at the end of one hour and then at the start of the next you know you have a good opportunity to pick up at least two second chests or if you've got enough. Um, resources and speed ups you, you might have the ability to even hit the third rewards chest which you know obviously you get the you get those larger amounts of uh, rewards you get the hero xp which is going to be vital at those early stages where you're trying to push your heroes levels um, your core hero levels up to level 35 at first and then up to level 50. you would have just seen then that the new hourly challenge has started so this is the seventh hour in the eight hour sequence and this is crazy technology research. So again, at C25, you're gonna, it's gonna require you to have 5.2 million points to finish the third chest. And as before, it's troop training, whatever level of troops you have, but also it gives you points for increasing technology. Now, again, like if you have, if you have the resources just to do uh, the troop training, then do the troop training because that's going to get you Clash of Province points as well. But if you're struggling to complete the, the third rewards chest, at least then you have this option that you could do a couple of elements of um, technology um, to push up your hourly points. And like, for instance, a particularly good thing to do would be the accessories production uh, research because A, it takes not a lot of time. B, it generally uses either food or marble. Now you'll definitely usually have a decent amount of uh, food available, not so sure on the marble. Uh, and the only other thing that it needs is Dragonite, which again, hopefully you are producing because you need to be generating Dragonite all the time. So we're gonna pop into back into the stables. So I've only got T9 uh, cavalry in this account. So we're going to um, finish off this hourly as well. Now this is always a Friday's always hectic for me because I would try and uh, swap between all four of my main accounts to do training at this point to maximise the hundred percent um, tickets. These days I've got well over a hundred of the bonus tickets in each of the accounts, so it's not such a rush. Um, and you'll see that a batch of T nine cavalry is giving me. 10 million Clash of Province points. So I'd still need to do, um, if I'm going to hit ninth box, I still need to do 24 of these uh, to hit the ninth box. And um, you'll see that obviously it takes, for T9 Cavalry, it's going to cost you nearly 450,000 iron and nearly 900,000 lumber, which again is not, uh, is not ideal, but it is what it is. And of course you can just use gems to speed it up if you don't or if you don't have the resources but like I say I don't think you you probably don't want to be using gems uh, unless you really need to say if you were just short on on getting the sixth or ninth box so I know I'm going to have to do at least uh, four whole training of t9 plus a little bit more to hit the uh, third hourly chest on this one Usually I would use more of the five minute training speed ups just to mix it up. Um, personally, I always use my lower denomination speed ups first rather than um, going <laughs> just using my hours. But that's just me. I know some obviously it takes more time to do that. So I've done I've trained four 
batches and you can see I've got 5.12 million points. So I, I need a few more. Again, just to be as efficient as possible, no, no point in, you don't need to train a big batch, just train a few hundred, which should get you over the line. And those are really, this is kind of really my main points on training day. It's just, it is a really good opportunity for you to pick up some hourly rewards chest, no matter what what level of the game you are. Um, here's the hourly challenge. So I've done 5.22, absolutely perfect. And third hourly rewards chest is, uh, again, it's only 3,000 gems, unfortunately, but you do get all this hero XP and the resources and the gold, and this time it's research speed ups. Um, so if I had been doing, um, if I hadn't already have done extra research earlier in the game, that's netted me around 50 million points, which would have got me up, um, up to fifth chest. So I would have been very close to getting the sixth chest just from completing those two hours. Um, I appreciate, obviously, this is with T9 troops, so it's a little bit easier. But even if, when you scale it back down to you know a C19 with T7 troops, as I say, when I was at that level, I was still I was using my speed ups exactly how um and my 100% bonuses exactly how I've just done on this in between the sixth and seventh hours, so it covers the half an hour period, and um I was almost always obtaining um. Third, three at least three rewards chests on on training day. In fact, I was definitely doing more than that. So, um, my other top tip for you is try and be prepared for training day as well. So, on Thursdays at the start of Thursdays, um, start your training then. So, for instance, uh, this takes one day to train. So, just at the start of Thursdays, set off set off your footmen, your archers, and your cavalry all training because. Once all three of those are done, ready for the first hourly in the sixth hour um, on Friday, so the sixth hour after reset, you can, even if you have hardly any resources uh, in terms of speed ups, you are getting a batch of footmen, cav um, cavalry and archers finished in that hour. You can then just click them to finish them. Uh, we'll put your 100% bonus on at the end of the hour. Click to finish them. And then you you probably only would need to train a couple more batches to hit the third hourly rewards chest and potentially the third clash of province chest as well. Uh, and that's with barely and that's with having to use barely any speed ups. So there are lots of ways that you can actually you know still get some reasonable rewards on Friday, no matter what level your account is. And that is basically everything I wanted to talk about uh, regarding. Uh, troop training. The only last thing I wanted to say is if you're going for MVP, sometimes the MVP levels on this are absolutely insane. Uh, so I'm on 500 million points already. Uh, I haven't been pushing it hard yet though. And I'm ranked 27th. So we are up against, up against State 63 this week who are extremely strong. There's a lot of states in the 60s that are very big spenders, strong active states. Look, they're doing double the training that we are, so it's, I'm not sure how I'm going to get on with this MVP attempt later, but I'll let you guys know. Um, but please be aware, like, if you're thinking of going for MVP, and the best time to go for MVP is after you've updated one of your troops to T9, because they give, obviously, the highest value. You're looking to fill all of your legions with that new troop type, particularly if it's cavalry. And um, I would suggest that you um, try and use the trainings when you're at that level so if you're a c25 save as many training speed ups as you can for those times when you are going to be able to go for an mvp which you know it's only going to be the three times in my opinion um that's that's the only times that i've tried it um and in my main i don't even do that because i'm always i actually use all of my training speed ups more often than that because i often do training on a sunday as well uh, but if you don't do training on a Sunday, it's possible to kind of build up a, a back a, a supply of a stock of training speed ups uh, that then you can try and do a MVP attempt. But like I say, you need to be prepared that you're potentially going to have to do two 
2G of points or maybe more to get MVP depending on who you're against and how active your state is. So there we go, guys. That is my kind of basic guide to training day. I hope you have found it interesting and that it's um, useful for players at all levels. That was my goal of this video. Um, please do pop a like on there if you've enjoyed watching the video. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you click on that subscribe and ring the bell. If you could share my channel in your Alliance Chats, Province Chats and Guild Chats for those of you in Eden. And if you use WhatsApp, Line, Discord or Viber, please pop a share of maybe this video or just my channel in general on there, guys. So any, if everyone else can find out about what I'm doing, that would be absolutely great. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.